everyone, I'm Jennifer. And I'm Maxwell. Welcome to Seriously Serial. Episode 220. Seriously Serial is made possible by viewers like you. And by Blue Legacy, a volunteer-run nonprofit dedicated to bring people together. Find out more at www.seriouslyserial.org. If you like to eat your cereal dry, then you are a snacker, like our buddy Bowler. <laughs> Or if you prefer with milk, then you're a spooner, like our pal, Spoonie. Hi, Spoonie. Hey, Spoonie. <laughs> Every month we post four episodes with a theme. And this month's theme is summertime. Ooh. <laughs> Cereals that were released in the summer and celebrate the summer season. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, summer holidays, summer fruits, summer break, and even the summer night sky. Summer Nighttime Sky is tonight. I am so excited. Yeah. Jennifer loves space. She's a science fiction writer for a living. It's true. And today's cereal is... <laughs> Galactic Lucky Charms. No way! <laughs> Will it be... out of this world? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Okay, before I talk about Galactic Lucky Charms, can I just say I'm a little disappointed? I mean, you said that you wear your Independence Day Captain Crunch as a necklace? I'm not seeing that today. Oh, no. Uh, I guess it wasn't meant to be. You're right. I didn't, I didn't wear it. We, we did. We found a really cool piece of Independence Day Captain Crunch the first Saturday of this month. Yeah. And I was, I promised I would wear it as a necklace. Yeah. And I didn't. I wore it as an earring! <laughs> 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 I'm a serial pirate! <laughs> 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 I'm a serial space pirate! Fantastic! About as fantastic as this Eclipse viewer. Which came in the box! Yeah. That is so cool! It has instructions on how to use it. Yeah, it's safe. It's like an old timey one. I like that. Yeah. That is really, really cool. I love cereals with surprises in the box. Yeah, that was a lot more common when I was a kid. I remember I got a lot of cool toys and a lot of fantastic books from cereal boxes back in the day. Yeah, absolutely. In some ways, I do feel like Lucky Charms always has something fun going on inside the box, you know, with the, the cool marshmallow shapes, oh, which yeah. I don't like to eat, but I do think they're really neat looking. Okay, fair. And, I mean, the good news is there are three extra marshmallow shapes in Galactic Lucky Charms. That's right, none of them were actually replaced or switched out for this cereal. So we have a time-traveling rocket ship and two cloning planets. Describe it right? Cloning planets. Cloning planets. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. You know, Lucky Charms, mm -hmm. they actually take their charms very seriously. Yeah, they do. General Mills, the company that makes Lucky Charms, they once sent out an official letter, a, a press release, mm. that seemed to imply that the charms actually had real magical powers. Oh my, in, a, in an official letter. Yes, yes. <laughs> Not sure if that's true. <laughs> so, luckily, I think Galactic Lucky Charms is mostly focused on real, actual mm. celestial events, and I think that's a good thing. Yeah, the magic of nature. The magic of science. Mm. Space magic. <laughs> there was a solar eclipse in June of 2021 that could be seen from Canada, Greenland, the Arctic, and Russia. A solar eclipse is when the moon moves between the sun and the earth. The moon blocks the sun for a brief time and makes the sun look like a black circle with a ring of light all around it. This is sometimes called the ring of fire. Another solar eclipse happens in 2021 but it's only visible from Antarctica. But there are other amazing things in the summertime sky. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, look for the constellation Hercules, visible only during the summertime. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, look for Orion. Both of these constellations depict brave hunters and warriors. You know, Orion was one of the names I almost named you. Hmm. Well, I'm glad you picked Maxwell from the book Where the Wild Things Are. By Maurice Sendak. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Me too. I like Maxwell. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. A serving size for Galactic Lucky Chunks is one cup. Calories per serving are 140. Total carbohydrates, 30. And total added sugars, 12. 
Oh, you know, that's actually less sugar than I assumed Lucky Charms had. Yeah, yeah. I agree, actually. Plus, you do get a cool eclipse viewer to yeah. save for the next solar eclipse. Yeah. And that will be able to be seen in parts of America on October 14th, 2023. And after that, on April 8th, 2024, there's another solar eclipse that will be able to be seen from parts of America and Canada. Okay, let's see if this limited edition Lucky Charms is as magical as the original. Let's taste it. Alright, I love Seriously Serial. I love being on this show. I love watching this show. I love writing for this show and researching for this show. I do not love this cereal. I, I feel about Lucky Charms, or actually, I feel about any cereal with marshmallows the way you feel about fruit-flavored cereals. However, I think it is really cool that there are planets, hmm. two different planets, and rocket ships. Hmm. I will say there's definitely more marshmallow than usual. And as a spooner who doesn't actually put too much milk in his cereal, a lot of them are staying on the surface. You do get a lot more of that chalkiness. Personally, I'm definitely not a uh, snacker for Lucky Charms. I prefer it to be uh, like in the milk. Mm -hmm. So I am noticing that. You're absolutely right. You, you, you're absolutely right. Because I mean, I know we mentioned before, there's like all the regular shapes are there. But there's also three more shapes. And I thought maybe they just put in less of the regular shapes, but it looks like they put in the same number of regular shapes and then yeah. added an ample amount, quite a few, of the new shapes. Um, yeah, and they're much bigger than, like, the little pieces of cereal, so you'll get yeah. like, a lot more marshmallows with this one. Yeah, that's actually... Look at this. Ooh. Yeah, so... Now, I don't... Magic cloning planets. Uh, and that's, that's the official... A time-traveling rocket ship and... Magical Cloning Planets is the official description yeah. from General Mills. I'm assuming they're calling them cloning planets because there's two mm -hmm. that are exactly the same yeah. with just different swirls. So, like, I guess maybe they're clones of each other, even though if they were clones of each other, wouldn't they be exactly alike? <laughs> Not identical twin planets. Yeah, they they're just their cousins. They couldn't fit that. They're siblings. <laughs> I do love the rocket ship. Okay. And then we'll come into the planet. Okay, no, well, I, I think as a spooner, I actually am not really feeling this. There's w just so many more marshmallows. Like, that balance I love about Lucky Charms is really thrown off here. It's a lot more sweet, and because of how much milk I personally enjoy with regular Lucky Charms, I'm getting a lot more marshmallows that are still dry. And that's not very, oh, that's not very pleasant at all. Like, even these last couple bites, every single one of them is still going to have marshmallows. There's that many. Yeah, it just, every time I bite into a cereal marshmallow, which again is not exclusive to Lucky Charms, it just gets, puts a shiver down my spine. I don't care for it. Mm -hmm. What would you say? Oh my gosh, Spoonie. Oh. <laughs> Maxwell, um, Spoonie's right. The oh. three minute timer is already up. Oh geez, uh, what, what would you rate it? What would you rate oh, it? Oh my gosh. Did um, I want to say my rating? I think two. Because I didn't, I don't, I don't, I'm not really, I'm not really down with this. Okay, if you like cereal marshmallows, mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the texture of cereal marshmallows, I feel like they all pretty much have the same taste. You know, then then probably don't listen to this review from either of us, because if you like these marshmallows, this is the cereal for you. It's yeah. like Lucky Charms with extra marshmallows. Fair. So we're definitely not putting it down. Plus, mm -hmm. again, any cereal that celebrates space and celestial events, I think is so awesome. Oh, yeah, celestial yeah. events means events that happen up in the sky. But I am going to have to also give this a two. It is not yeah. horrible, yeah. but it is filled with chalky marshmallows. And you guys probably saw the marshmallows did stick together a little bit. Yeah. So um, that to me, I'm gonna need to bring it down to that too because as a snacker, I don't really want my cereal to stick together. Fair. Okay. So yeah, I'd say, yeah, a two from us, just as people who prefer a little bit more actual cereal in our Lucky Charms to balance the sweetness. But if you're one of those people who is a total marshmallow fiend, I think, yeah, take this up while you can. Thanks for watching, everyone. Seriously, <laughs> Sarah's moved to a new channel. 
Bluefoot family. Click the subscribe button to help us grow. And so you never miss an episode. Then you can come chat with us at www.cccco.org. We have a blog, an official store, and links to all our episodes. Come visit us! Come visit yeah. us! <laughs> and Seriously Zero will be back next Saturday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time with an all-new theme. Hmm, I wonder what it will be. <laughs> See you guys then. <laughs>